Hello, in this video we are going to solve this exponential problem. This is negative 13 to the power of x equals 13. We are solving for the value of x that satisfies this equation. Now, let's start it this way. If you have negative 13, just like what we have here, this is just like writing negative 1 times 13. So you replace this negative 13 here with negative 1 times 13. So we are going to have negative 1 times 13 to the power of x equals 13. Now, the next identity will be if you have a times b raised to the power of c, this equals a to the power of c times b power c. You apply this right here. So, we are simply going to have, that means the x, we will distribute it to each of the terms here. That means we will have negative 1 to the power of x times 13 to the power of x, and this equals 13. Now, right here, we can consider this other identity again. If you have e to the power of i times pi plus 1, this will give you 0. This is the Euler's identity. From here, you have e to the power of i times pi equals negative 1 by moving this one over here. So, what we will do is to replace this negative one here with e to the power of i times pi. So we have e to the power of i times pi, and this is raised to the power of x times 13 to the power of x equals 13. From here again, if you have a to the power of x to the power of y, this equals a power x times y. So, we multiply this. We have e to the power of i times pi x times 13 to the power of x equals 13. So from here, we can apply natural log of natural log of everything here, which is e to the power of pi times pi x times 13 to the power of x equals, we also apply natural log here, we have natural log of 13. Now, if you have natural log of a times b, this equals natural log a plus natural log p. So we apply this right here, meaning this is my a and this is my b. So I'm going to have natural log e to the power of 5 times pi x plus natural log 13 to the power of x equals natural log 13. So from here, if you have natural log a power p equals p times natural log a, applying this right here, and here, I have i times pi x times natural log of e plus x times natural log of 13 equals natural log of 13. Now remember, natural log will eliminate e. So, what we are going to have here is just i times pi x plus x times natural log of 13 equals natural log of 13. So from here, I can factor out x of x open bracket this divides x i have i times pi plus 
this divide x half natural log 13 equals natural log 13. Now, isolating x, that means we divide this by i pi plus natural log 13. We also divide this by i pi plus natural log 13. This cancel this because they are the same. So from here, we have x equals natural log 13 divided by i pi plus natural log 13. This is our answer. Now let's also solve it using this other identity again. So we will have negative 13 power x equals 13. And we consider the first identity that we used earlier on by expressing this as product of negative 1 and 13. So we have negative 1 times 13 power x equals 13. Now, the second step will be to consider this identity. If you have square root of negative 1, this is just like writing imaginary number i. Now, if I decide to take the squares, what happens is that this square root eliminates the square here, and I have negative 1 equals i power 2. So this negative one, we will replace it with i power 2. That means I will have i power 2 times 13 to the power of x equals 13. So from here, I'll go ahead and apply this other identity. If you hog a times b or x, this equals a power x times b power x. So applying that here, I will have i power 2 raised to the power of x times 13 raised to the power of x equals 13. Next step is to multiply this exponent. We have i power 2 x times 13 power x equals 13. Now we can apply natural log. Of natural log of i power 2x times 13 power x equals natural log of 13. And going back to the same identity, natural log a times b equals natural log a plus natural log b. This is my a, this is my b. I have natural log i power 2x plus natural log 13 power x equals natural log 13. So right now, if you have natural log a power b equals b times natural log a. So applying that here and here. I will have 2x times natural log i plus x times natural log 13 equals natural log 13. So from here, there's x here, there's x here. I can factor that out. So I have x times this divides x. I have 2 times natural log of i. I don't need to put this in bracket again plus natural log 13 equals natural log 13. So right now, I can decide to isolate x by dividing this by 2 times natural log i plus natural log 13. I also divide this by 2 times natural log i plus natural log 13. This cancel this. So from here, we have x equals 
natural log 13 divided by 2 times natural log i plus natural log 13. This also is our answer. Now we have two answers. The only difference is that we have two times natural log i here, while we have i times pi here. Every other thing remains the same. So in, on this note, we can say that 2 times natural log i is the same thing as i times pi. So guys, that is it. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Thank you and goodbye.